Alright, hello everyone, uh, day two here. We had a bit of a bit of an early start, breakfast at seven o'clock this morning so we could train uh, had about an hour's run through this morning, half past eight, and now we're just back ready to get some lunch ready. We play uh, the opening match of the tournament against uh, Estonia today. Good session this morning, uh, everybody's in good spirits, happy to be here and, and look pretty comfortable on the court. So obviously first game, uh, let's see what happens and hopefully we can uh, put in a good performance. All right, we're at the back of the bus. We've got uh, John Pierce, Chris McDermott and uh, Martin Hare, uh, regular members of the back of the bus, uh, obviously celebrating today's 27-26 victory of Estonia. How are we feeling, boys? Pretty ecstatic. Yeah, pretty good. Not too bad. Not John, too bad. Not too bad, John. Not too bad at all. I mean, it's, it's obviously a pleasure to be at the back of the bus naturally, anyway. As yeah. part of the BBA TV representing the Bros. Uh, bros being the back row originals, myself, Martin, and Chris. I originally formed in 2011 after Brazil to uh, establish a, a permanent safety net, if you like to call, <laughs> at the back of the bus, maintaining order for all travel. Uh, being quite a substantial part of this year's this year's trip, so um, you know we're we're excited. We're we're pleased to be here, and uh, it was a great win. Chris, what do you think? Um, I'm just I'm just happy to be back back in the uh, middle seat, uh, kind of protecting the, the whole aisle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Chris is certainly the enforcer of the middle, so he's yeah, mainly yeah, in charge yeah. of protecting the middle of the bus, making sure people don't stand up when the bus is in motion. Yeah. Um, Martin's checking, normally checking the window, windows and mirrors, making sure our traffic coming around the left at the side is clear and visible for the driver. And then I'm just generally in charge of like a litter picking and general behaviour.